Okay, we are moving further. All right, inside to our course, and we are now at the system requirement. Right. So we want to get the system requirement, and we want to check it. All right, so we need a system requirement checklist to make sure that we don't miss anything. Okay, now as every system is different the system requirement will be different but the basic checklist should cover five area which we will look at that in a short moment so there are five elements uh, this is three here then the rest the other two will actually be on the next slide okay so these three are quite direct uh, most student or fresh graduate dealing with system requirement will have no much problem with it okay which is your input process output doesn't matter which one you do first all right so uh, output could be the requirements like uh, getting certain information online all right uh, being able to assess certain information through the cloud all right so those are typical output nowadays okay input definitely we need input okay where is the data coming from right. who is going to provide the input even if the input are basically uh, through barcode or qr code it still have to be identified and processes okay you may not have a totally isolated system All right. so your system that you are developing okay, may need to work with other systems so a simple example here is like okay if you are working on the human resource system then make sure that it can work with your payroll system if it's a separate system okay because people want to get paid at the end of the month All right. So these are the basic three first. Okay. Now for the other two. Performance and control. All right. Now performance, of course, for bosses, owners. Okay. They want 24 7. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, non-stop. All right. So your system needs to be up all the time. Uh, that does not mean you don't schedule downtime okay so you can still schedule downtime okay but you also have to think about control right what type of control do you want to have in your system so a simple example here is uh, do you want to have multi-factor authentication right? in addition to your id password okay so remember whenever you create a checklist Okay, for your system requirement, make sure you cover all five of these. 